This is Katie Fogarty and Michelle Corey announcing for you tonight. <clears throat> now, West Lake is West Lake's varsity varsity team is gonna show up. The team of Lakewood tonight yeah. on this fabulous Saturday evening. I'm really excited, Katie. I believe West Lake will win. I've been inspired by Chad to believe in West Lake. Me too, Michelle. It goes well, right? No, at Westlake's game yesterday, JV and varsity teams showed up North Olmsted's teams in a very interesting showdown. Y'all should go watch that right after this. Hmm, things are looking good. Well, I mean, I can't really say that. There's no score yet. <laughs> Michelle, what are your expectations for the game tonight? Oh, gosh. Well, right off the bat, I hope Westlake will win this one. I feel like, hmm, I don't know. From past games I've seen, Tommy Luzevnik has brought a lot of energy to the stage. I think he's really gonna, um, he's gonna do really well tonight. That was three points for Lakewood. Now number three for Westlake passes it to number to Tommy Luzevnik, who passes it back to number 30. Oh hey, two, that was three. Anthony Rigo a two for a two-pointer. Lakewood's number ten has the ball. Passes it to number twenty-two. Who I just passed Westlake's fourteen. Number twelve with the ball. Passes it to number fifteen, and now twenty-two has the ball. And it looks like Lakewood's just doing a little pass by pass right now. The players don't really see an opening yet in order to shoot. Tw oh, he can't 25 make it in. 25 tried to make shot but didn't get it in. Ooh. Once again, they could not make it in. Yes, We're about to finally. get three new opinions on the game tonight. This is <laughs> Max Sherbatowski. Shout out to John Packus. Bobby Boucher. <laughs> um, Pablo. Now, what are your expectations for the game tonight from Westlake versus Lakewood? Easy dub all day. Rigo's going off for 65. I am Bobby Boucher. <laughs> um, I think Vince is going to score the most. Why do, you, why do you say that? Shout out to Tommy Lissette. Because he's a corn dog. Why? Because he's corn dog. Why is he corn dog? Oh, he makes that like one. Dog in the good. Two to four right All now. All right. Now, he's are you guys dog. excited for the outcome of the game tonight? No, I want the eighth graders to win states. <laughs> I am Bobby Boucher. <laughs> I just want the map. Do you guys have any other words to say for our lovely audience tonight? Go tribe. <laughs> I would like to say that I am Bobby Boucher. Good night. I still want my apple. All right. That was a couple of freshmen for y'all tonight. Wonderful freshmen. That was awesome. And a one sophomore. It's always good to bring comedy to these things, you know? For all that are watching, please excuse my camera work. It's just don't kill me, Mr. S. <laughs> Something bad happened? Or where's the ball? Oh gosh. Number 30, Tim for Westlake has the ball. Tommy Lazevnik gets the ball, shoots, and scores! That's a three pointer. Tommy Lazevnik, let's go, Demons! Let's go, Demons! You know, the crowd looks like they could use a little bit of pep. Unfortunately, Chad is not here today. As far as I can see, I don't see him. But we do have our wonderful cheerleaders here today. Put the camera on them. On the ball, wherever that is. Number 22 for Lakewood makes a shot, but misses. Bounces off the rim. 
And they keep it. They keep. They keep trying, but close, but no cigar. Number 14 from Westlake passes it to Tommy Luzevnik. The only player whose name I actually know. <laughs> you have know, noticed in the crowd the um, the signs that people have chosen to support our Westlake Demons today. Cardboard signs of the basketball player's faces. Very, very classy, I do think. Oh my God. Some of the teams are, are exchanging players. And number 15 for Westlake will start out with the ball right now. Let's go, defense. <laughs> Somebody screams in the crowd. They're going to be Lakewood. Oh, he no. almost fell, but he appears to be okay. But Makes that the was ball really cool. from the rim. Hangs on to the rim for a second, then let, let's go. That was an incredible shot. He literally jumped up, grabbed the rim, and shoved the ball in. That was incredible. Out. Number 20 for Lakewood tries to make a shot, but does not succeed. Number 32, Westlake tries to make a shot, but doesn't does make not it succeed. in. What a shame. Passes it to number 14, Westlake. And it's a foul on Lakewood. Hmm. Now those signs, Katie, that people choose to bring are quite whimsical. They are just a giant card cardboard cutout of faces. Very nice. All right, as of now, we'd like to thank our lovely sponsor, Hungry Howie's. We love your pizza. We love your people. We love you. Keep being awesome. That's right. Keep being awesome. Number 22, Lakewood starting out with the ball. Number 23, Lakewood passing it to number 5. In turn, passes it to number 12. All right, ladies and gents, just to recap on the score, it's now a tie, seven to seven. Right now, it seems like it's gonna be a pretty close game, but we shall see. And I have a feeling this is gonna be an exciting game. Let's hope for the best at this one. Also, just a quick, Advertiser, y'all should go check out Friday morning news announcements for Westlake High School on our channel. We have some great stories on there, all centered around the one, the only, Westlake High School. Westlake News, Westlake Sports, it's all there. It's great. Go check it out. Oh, man. We also have other sports in the season coming up as well. Swimming and oh, diving. Yes. We have some previous golf games on our channel, sports, I mean, soccer, <laughs> just some great stuff. And now with the opening of our new school store, you can buy athletic apparel to support these wonderful Westlake teams. Now we're three from Westlake with the ball. It looks like there's a little cheer off going right now between the G-leaders of both teams. And these players are fast. Where's the ball? Gosh, okay. Number 14 with the ball, passes it to number 32, passes it to number 30 for Westlake. I hear a lot of um, vocalness, vocalness, that's not a word. Basically, the coaches are being very vocal. The coaches are very into the game right now, which yeah. is good. It was like coaches shouting a bit, but that's good. I think an outspoken coach means very talented players. No, can't seem to make it in. Yeah. 
Number 30, Tim for Westlake has the ball, passes it to number 14, makes a shot, and bounces off the rim. Number five for Lakewood, makes a shot, but it bounces off the rim. Now Lakewood advancing into the demon zone. They try making a shot, but Westlake players thrust it out of their grasp. All right. Avon is now up. And that's a foul on Westlake. Let's see if they make this. Nope. Number 23, missing a shot. Now it's like 32 being exchanged for number 12. Wonderful support from our cheerleaders. Shout out to them. Man, this Westlake crowd, they really look like they could use some more pep. I'm sure the cheerleaders are trying their best, right? It's not the same without Chad, though. Number 25 making his shot for Lakewood. Now the score is nine for Westlake, 10 for Lakewood. Number four with the ball for Lakewood passes it to number 34. Number five, I mean. <laughs> number 22 makes a shot, a three point for Lakewood. With less than a minute for the first quarter, Lakewood is up four points to Westlake's nine. That was good. But Westlake just got another three points. That's 11 to 13 for Lakewood. Ooh, some vocalness. That was two pointer for Westlake. From Billy Blood. Oh gosh. Number four for Lakewood makes a shot. Four fouls. And falls through. Mm. Let's see if he makes this one. I don't think he will. Oh, I and was makes wrong. Second shot. Oh, but in jinx that. Tommy Lezevnik with the ball. Passes it, passes it to number 14. He passes it to Lakewood, 23. Oh, four seconds left. Let's see what happens. And... Ooh. That's wow. it for the first quarter, Damon. That's the end of the first quarter. Score is currently 11 to 14. Shout out to our wonderful sponsors, Hungry Howie's, with that great pizza. Keeping off of Hungry Howie's. We will see you in the second quarter. Yeah. All right, we are back in the game, lady and gentlemen demons. Now 14 for Westlake has the ball. And he's about yes. to be advanced on some liquid players. <laughs> Number 23 from Lakewood passes it to number 25. Number 22 shoots. Just remember everyone, and if you'd foul. like to catch even more basketball games, please go on to WHBS, this YouTube channel. We have many games there, basketball, hockey, everything. Check it out. Number 
number 13 from Wattake passing it to number 30. Number 12 shoots and misses. can't get over these signs. They're very whimsical. Number 12 for Westlake making this first foul shot. <laughs> oh, he made that one. That was great. 15 to 14 now. Five fouls for Westlake though. That's not good. Oh, and the camera was over there for a while. <laughs> Michelle, okay. what do you think of the of the team's different strategies comparing and contrasting? Mm -hmm. I don't really know what to say about that. I don't really notice. So, well, I do notice some strategies. I notice both, a lot of teams like to just pass the ball around other teammates to stall for time or something. I noticed that, and that one kind of irritates me because it's like, do something else, at least try, you know? What can I say? All right. Coming up soon, we're going to bring back some more freshmen to give us more input on the game. That'll be great to look forward to. But in the meantime, let's watch this great game. I'd like to welcome back our freshmen. All right, folks, we got some lovely interviewees with us again tonight. What are your names again? Bobby Boucher. Max Sherbatowski. Um, Blake Wolf. Now, what do you guys think of the game so far? Um, hmm. kind of disappointing, Westlake, but I mean, they're holding up pretty well against a pretty good team. So, yeah. Fremo Monster. They're doing pretty good tonight. The band is the highlights of the game. What's your favorite song that the Westlake band does? Ooh. I don't know any of the songs. Makes that in. That was great. The uh, Demon Prize song. Culture to Narcos. Awesome. Now, how do you, how do you think the, the, the uh, strategies of Lakewood and Westlake compare and contrast tonight? Uh, say again? How do you think the team's strategies of Westlake and Lakewood compare and contrast tonight? Um... I don't know. It seems that Lakewood's more good. It's more good of like a, they're like a more well-rounded team. Just Westlake. I don't know. It looks like they're kind of falling apart, but hope something changes. Tony As Rigo's being a ball hog. Vince is still the goat of the Corn Dogs. Do you think Westlake has the ability to really, to really make it past Lakewood tonight and really, you know, take home this win? Um. You know, what, Katie, I really do. I really do. <laughs> They just need to, you know, they just got to move the ball around more. Just got to move the ball around more and, um, you know, just get it together. So, yeah. Get it I think together, if uh, like Tony Rigo, Billy Blood, and Carter Bednar go off, they're going to win. Um, I think that the eighth graders should be moved up to varsity next year. No, why is that? Because they're all ghost states. Why? They're the best players out there. Six foot eight. Seven foot one, they're they're too good. Who's their coach? Me. All right, now thank you, folks, very much. Have a nice day. We hope to hear again you from too. you guys soon. Go demons. Go demons. That was where our amazing freshmen. Always fun. They like to move around a lot, though. Not gonna lie. Now hear a lot of noise coming from the audience. Here's to be they stop, stop the clock at 414. Currently tied 18 to 18. Let's see what happens next. Number five for Lakewood starting out with the ball. Number 
11 for Lakewood, passing the ball to number 12. Now it looks like both teams are really in, on their in, A game tonight. Don't don't yeah. you think, Michelle? Yeah. You know, I think, especially because they're seniors, they already have a lot at as it is. So I think, you know, if they lose, we can't really drag them for it. They already have so much to think about with jobs and college and everything. For sure, yeah. Now we have number 15 starting jump for Westlake. Number 30 yeah. taking it away. And the ball goes flying across the court. Number two passes it to this number 14. Just goes everywhere. <laughs> my oh my, this game is intense. And number Ooh. 25 for Westlake flies on the court. Took a hard 15, call. sorry. And that's a foul on Westlake. Clock stops at 3.21. Let's see who wins this time. Yeah, these coaches, very vocal. I can't really tell what they're saying. I think they're saying like T, T him up, something like that, really yeah. Number 15 for Westlake with the ball, passing it to number 30. and shoots and bounces from the rim. Number five with the ball, passing it to number four. 22 trying to make his way around the game. A strategy where, or it was a strategy where they just threw the ball back and forth to each other for a while. Oh, wow. That was great. That's three for Lakewood. 18 to 23. Pindu for Lakewood making another shot. Oh. However, Westlake does have six fouls. That's not good. I think Thomas, the eternal optimist, has said multiple times something about fouls and penalties they kill. Basically, this isn't good for them. Let's go, Demons! Wow, they just keep making it in. This is good for them. Let's Bad go, Demons. Number 10 for Lakewood with the ball. Passing it to number 23, passing it to number 20. Notice the one with the ball. He looks really tired. Like he doesn't want to be here right now. He's exhausted. Can't blame him. Number 30, 30 for Westlake, passing it to number two. Number 
number f 30 for Westlake yet again with the ball, passing it to number two. Oh, with less than a minute left, Katie, you think anything can be done within like 40 seconds? I think the score's gonna stay about the same. Westlake 21 to what to Lakewood's 27. But for the second half of the game, uh oh, I I don't know. I think Westlake could come out ahead if they tried, but we shall see. Eight less than 20 seconds. Uh oh, I'm a little frightened. All right, we've got the 10, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, there you have it for no. the second quarter, Demons. Well, that's that. Well, guys. Oh, it stopped the clock at two seconds. There is 0 0.2 seconds left in the second quarter, evidentially. Number 12 getting ready to make that shot. And he Ooh, makes it. And he makes it. That's great. 22 27. <laughs> Wonderful cheerleaders. They're the freshman cheerleaders. I know them. We have a little giraffe going right now. Oh, and there you have the second quarter it. demons. First of all, I give another shout out to our sponsors, Hungry Howie's. You guys are amazing. And we will see you in the third quarter. Well, welcome, Westlake sports fans, to the third quarter. I'm Michelle Corey. And I'm Kitty Fogarty, and we are back in business. All right. Where is the ball? No one knows. There it is. All right. Last left off, um, Lakewood was in the lead. I'm hoping to see a change. How about you, Katie? Of course. Westlake's only four, point, four points behind, so with the score being 23 for Westlake to uh, 27 for Lakewood, I think Westlake can really try to pull this out and yeah. evidently win the game. Number 30 for Westlake, passing it to number 21. Whoa. But the ball gets intercepted oh, by Lakewood. Mm. And that's two points for Lakewood. <laughs> number 14 for Westlake. Michelle, what, what are your expectations expectations for the game right now? Well, I expect Westlake to win. <laughs> um, hmm. I really don't know. Well, obviously, like everyone, I think I expect them to put forth their best. Because one of the mottos here, I think, is like never say die. So they can't give up, and not now. I think as you were interviewing the freshman before, one of them said that he was really disappointed with Westlake. I'm hoping this will change him around, you know? Well, Westlake did exceptionally well last night. So I wonder if last night's win will have any effect on how they hopefully win this game. I did hear they did well last night. Yeah, JV and Varsity came out ahead of North Olmstead, winning both games. Both? Fantastic. You know, I think with all the hype that was surrounding the previous games, the opening of a new store and a spaghetti dinner, I think it really put more energy into our basketball players. For sure, yeah. Tommy Levesnik with the ball. Tommy Levesnik. Shout out to Tommy. And that's a foul on Lakewood. A foul. Woo! Number 14, Westlake with the ball, passing it to number 21. Go, 
goes for the shot, but misses. And that's another foul on Lakewood. Ooh, well, Zevnik is up. Let's hope he makes it in. <laughs> this is a really exciting game. Oh, it's I mean, Zevnik making his first foul shot. Now, it's insane how many fouls Lakewood has been called out for within the second half. I mean, not even a minute's gone by and Lakewood has the two fouls. That's pretty insane, I think. Yeah. Two fouls, of course. Oh. Number 23 for Lakewood, passing it to number 22. And they're just doing a little back and forth action. Five making a shot for Lakewood. Number 30, Tim Waite, trying to find an opening to pass the ball. Uh-oh. Round of applause. I'm not sure why. Oh, time out. And that's a timeout called out by Lakewood. What's Lake I mean? Some nice cartwheels from our cheerleaders. Actually, I don't know if that's a cartwheel, but that was cool. Oh my gosh. Should we talk to Dylan Bednar about the game? Sure. Hey, Dylan, what are you thinking about the game? Well, Let's get back to the game. Oh, no, they're coming back. We'd like to welcome our, back our freshmen. We got our lovely freshman and one sophomore back for an interview. What do you guys think of the game so far for the second quarter, second half? It's a good game so far. I mean, Westlake's about to come out with this easy dub. Like, we're taking down number one. Um, what, what, um, I'd say Westlake's holding up pretty good. Um, I mean, yeah, eighth graders are better, but um. Drew, Drew Redding is on the heart and soul the team, but he's not really playing right now, and like it's making me really sad. And maybe it would help, but hopefully Westlake does a lot better and just starts working as a team. Yeah, um, we destroyed the Lakewood freshmen. We beat them about like 30. Yeah, bro, ease dub right here. Carter Benner about to drop some threes. He about to be out here splashing. Vince about to come out here and dunk on some kid, yo. Alrighty. Now, the team won last, the team won last like night against one, North Olmsted for both it, games. Folks. Do, you think, do you think that win has any effect on the game tonight? Um, um, yeah, because, because getting a win before another game, it makes you pretty confident, I'd say. But, um, yeah. Free Adam, free Mo, free Maki. You know, they got the big minutes last night. Yeah, the momentum definitely carries over, you know, but, you know, free Caleb. So do you guys think that the win from last night made, made Westlake a little overconfident for tonight? Um, yeah, that kind of sounds about right. Um, maybe a little discussion about, about this team. Uh, maybe they just didn't know how, like, how good they were, but um, it looks like they're holding up pretty good, so I don't really seem like it's a problem. Well, Caitlin, um... <laughs> Katie. Katie from Friday Morning News. The wonderful okay, Katie, Katie Fogarty, folks. The um, pit is not looking as good as it usually does. The pit is looking very small and tiny. That is true, that is true. And the band left, so I'm sort of mad about that. Gosh darn it. Tommy was having to currently has the ball. Perhaps. Ball. Not sure what he's going to do with perhaps. it now. Oh, well, he passed it to somebody else. Hmm. Perhaps. Hmm, I think they're just going to pass it around. All right, do you guys have anything other. to add today? A lot of gang. Tardif Singh. I'm really sorry that you got a Friday school, but maybe if you do better in school, like do better in Miss Egan's class and hopefully it'll change. So 
Go Cavs. Thanks to our wonderful freshmen. I just want to say, do it for Jesus. Okay. Yeah, he put on the dress. Thanks again to our lovely freshmen, and thanks to Katie Fogarty for putting up with our freshmen. I know as a freshman. And a sophomore. We're, we're very Freshman difficult. and a sophomore. All right, and a sophomore. Where is the ball? Uh-oh. Oops. Oh, right, okay. All right, it's two minutes, 55 seconds left for the third quarter. Well, so I guess 30 points to 33 points on Lakewood side. Oh, that was good. 32-33, they are one point away from catching up. Let's hope for the best. All right, number five from Lakewood passes it to number 12. We have a lot of enthusiasm coming out from our cheerleaders, and I think it's rubbing off on the team just a little bit because Wilson just scored another two points. We have an incredible yeah. three-pointer for Westlake. Oh my, now, now the it's team time. 35-35, incredible, incredible three-point shot. It was like right by, right by the Powerade station. That was wonderful, that was great. Like our sponsor, Hungry Howie's, you guys are wonderful, are wonderful and great. We love your pizza, we love your people, we love we you, love that pizza. Like, keep being awesome. Hungry Howie's is practically what like WHBS lives off of, okay? It's their life. Because pizza is life. Oh, it is. Seriously, is this gonna be edited? Oh. 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 oh, shout out to Garrett, wonderful announcer. Wonderful camera work, wonderful editing. I know he used to do um, post-game interviews, which WHBS is gonna be bringing back, so everybody look out for that. You can see those on our YouTube channel pretty soon. Number 14 for us to go with the ball. Passing it to number 15. Passing it back to number 14. Number 12 tries to make a three-pointer for Westlake. Okay, well, you know, I don't think that last hoop counts. So, what a shame. Lakewood with the ball makes a shot. Two points for Lakewood. Tim Wade passes it to number two. Makes a shot, three points for Westlake. Uh, Carter Bednar for three. Number five for Lakewood tries to make a three-pointer, but it bounces off the rim as the buzzer sounds. 
Well, that's it for the third quarter. Once again, shout out to our sponsors, Hungry Howies, and we will see you in the fourth quarter. Welcome back, Westlake sports fans, to the fourth quarter. Score is 38 to 38 now with three to four fouls. Let's see how this goes. And Lake would try slamming the ball into the net, but did not succeed. You know, I want Westlake to win, but I don't feel like they will, which really upsets me. We will see. Maybe they'll win, maybe they won't. But they will probably win. Hopefully. Shout out to these wonderful cheerleaders. I noticed they swapped from freshmen to, wait, are those fresh? There's still some, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. There are some more upperclassmen who are cheerleaders as of right now, before it was just freshmen. Tommy Lezevnik for three points. Now Westlake like have had three points to Lakewood 39. 41 to 39, Westlake like in the lead. We have Lakewood Ooh. attempting to make a few shots, but no. I'm missing. We see the coaches and all, and all the other Westlake players excited. Number 30, Tim Waite with the ball. Passing it to Tommy Lezevnik, number 13. That's not Tommy Lezevnik. Okay, but. Time out, called out by Westlake. Wonderful music from the band. Mm, I wonder what the coaches are talking about right now. Hopefully some good motivational stuff. Nothing to put them down. Thirteen for Westlake, passing it to Tommy Lezevnik. Number twelve with the ball, passes it back to Tommy. But Lakewood soon gains possession of the ball. Number 25 for Lakewood with the ball, passing it to number 23. 22 tries to make a shot, but it bounces off the rim. Number 22 making another shot, bouncing again off the rim. Mm, it's not gonna make it in. Oh, I think it just did, but it doesn't count, so. So we just saw a little bit of trial and error by the Westlake. We've got about six minutes left. I think a lot can happen in the six minutes. And Westlake is already in the lead right now, but only by two points. Lakewood is currently up. Let's see if they make the shot. Hmm. Oh, and it's in. And Lakewood makes one out of two foul shots to five. And we got a couple cheer offs going on. Let's see if he makes, ooh, no good. Tim, wait with the ball for Westlake. And we're 
Another time out. Another time out. Players. You know, I think in the fourth quarter there's going to be a lot more timeouts. So let's all get ready for that one. Shout out to our amazing band. Always playing great tunes. As he said, let's really go demon. demon spirit. It's kind of weird. I typically root for the other team. All right, 11 for Lakewood with the ball, passing it to number 22. Makes the shot. Three points for oh, Lakewood. Right. Oh, that was Lakewood. I was like, yeah. And then I realized. Hmm. Lakewood's up ahead two points to Essex 41. Tim White. A run with the ball, passing it to number 12. Hmm. Oh. That was, that was a little frustrating. Like and that's a foul. This, and that's a foul called on by Wesley. As I did say a couple minutes ago, I feel like there's going to be a lot of timeouts this quarter, so let's get ready. Two points for Lakewood. Uh oh. Lakewood's in the lead, 41 to 45. Dang it, Demons. Another couple of interviews with our fantastic freshmen. Um, Billy Bob John. Uh -oh. I am uh, Pablo Juan. <laughs> now, freshmen, there are about four seniors. We have about four minutes and 40 seconds left of the game tonight. Westlake was ahead of Lakewood for, for a while, and now Lakewoods have Westlake. What do you think of the game so far? It's been very interesting. Yeah. And I think Westlake can pull out the dub. If Drew Redinger gets his head in the game, we can definitely win this. That's right. I feel like if Vince goes in, he's going to splash a few threes. You know, free Logan Paul, free Jake Paul, free Maki, free Mo, Ignore free that Adam, last part, folks. free Shube. I'm sorry. And what were your lovely names again? Oh, my name was Billy Bob John. Mine's Pablo Juan. All right, thank you folks so much. Have a great night. Oh, we will see you later. Thanks, guys. Whoa. Oh, I don't know what just happened, but I heard a lot of clapping, so I'm assuming good for Lakewood. Okay. 44 to 48. You know, I think it was a really good idea. It's a really good idea to interview people during the quarters of the game, get their insight while it's still For going sure, on. yeah, just gain the different perspectives on what's happening out on the court. Very good idea, Katie. I applaud you. And now they're leaving. Okay. And we are back. A lot of timeouts. Less than three minutes, though. I'm a little concerned now. 
14 with the ball, tries to make a shot, bounces off the rim. Lakewood retali retaliating back with the ball, making another two point shot. And the crowd uh -oh. goes wild. Number 12 for Westlake makes a two-pointer. For Westlake. You know, when I support the other teams, they win. When I support Westlake, they lose. What's up with that? Perhaps this optimism that's rubbed off on me is no good. That's another two-point for Lakewood. Wow, this fourth quarter is getting crazy. Tommy Lezepnik for Westlake. <laughs> Number 14, Westlake with the ball. Trying to make a three-point shot, but not succeeding. Now Lakewood bringing the ball back. Oh, the ball's over there. Okay. Hmm. It appears. Number 12 with the ball. Perhaps my camera works not the best today, but you know what? That's all right. Because it looks great. The game that is a okay well. because looks like we'll probably win the game next week. Number 52, Lakewood oh. trying to make a two-pointer, not succeeding. You know. The way Lakewood really is on their A game. I know I don't want them to win, but I gotta give them credit. They look like they're really trying. Definitely, yeah. With a minute 40 seconds left of the game, we have number 22 for Lakewood with the ball. Oh my gosh, less than two minutes left. Wow. Number 12 for Lakewood, passing it to number 25. Oh. Seems all right. As Evnick walks away clean, thank God. Tommy Lozevnik with the foul. Oh, wow, we have eight fouls. Wow, okay. That's Eight fouls for Westlake over the course of the game, while only five fouls for Lakewood. Uh -oh. Number 22 for Lakewood getting that foul shot. And making the second one, Lakewood is in the lead for Westlake's 46 to Lakewood's 54. Of 
46 to 54. I don't think Westlake can catch up within like the minute they have left. Uh oh. All right, Lakewood trying to make a three pointer but bouncing off the rim. With less than a minute left in the game, Westlake number 14 oh. makes a three pointer. Nice. Time out. Next time out, called out by Westlake. 44.5 seconds left. Let's see what happens. Is is it over? I think it's over. I'm gonna assume it's over. <laughs> number 11 for Lakewood with the ball, passing it to number 25. seem to make that one. Number 11 for Lakewood making his final foul shot. And making it. Oh, he made that one. Playing Lakewood up seven points uh -oh. to Westlake. About 30 sec, no, 34.3 seconds left. Coaches have not been saying as much as they were in the first half of the game. Wonder why. Oh God, where'd the ball even go? And the ball goes out to the crowd. Something's happening. Oh hey, it's Coach Daniels. Shout out to him. I had heard somewhere that this is like his last year coaching high school. And oh, then I also that's heard he was already retired, so I really don't know what the story is anymore. Tommy Lesevnik. Let's hope he Tommy makes Lizevnik this. Tommy Lesevnik for the foul shot. Uh, let's hope he makes this. And All he makes right. it. Number 22 
for Lakewood making another foul shot. Let's see if he makes this. Oh, wow. Good for Lakewood, you know? All right, the clock is ticking. Less than 30 seconds left now. Let's hope for the best. All right, was like fumbling with the ball. Tim Wade makes a shot on misses. Of course. Um, hmm. Now we got 15 seconds left, but they stopped the clock there. Let's see what happens now. Number 11 for Lakewood, making his first foul shot. Making it. For Westlake, tries to make shot, but it's intercepted okay. by Lakewood. The wow, side. there's a lot Four. of. Oh, I the game. don't think it caught that. A lot of support from the Lakewood fans. A lot of support. Unlike Westlake, they're being a bunch of Debbie Downers right now. But let's hope they can pep up their spirits in f four seconds. Oh, and there's a chant. Okay. They're having a little chant over there. Game. The score was 50 to Westlake, 61 for Lakewood, beating Westlake for 11 points. Shout out to Hungry Howies. We love you guys. We love your pizza. We'll see you next time. <laughs>